So we're headed out diving again today. Um, the students took care of all of the, the maintenance of the, the normal octopus stuff this morning. So now we have the afternoon free and we're gonna head out. And actually we're going to try to help another researcher uh, locate some nudibranchs, some tritonian nudibranchs. Actually at the same location that we go for our mystery octopuses. I've been wanting to go out there anyhow to try to see if those mystery octopuses are around during the day. We've only dove at night for them so far. I want to try to find them. Oh, they're out during the day. I'm about to kill myself. So, um, that's where we're headed. I'm also really interested in trying to film this really interesting behavior that I've seen with those uh, mystery octopuses that they bury themselves in the sand to get away from us. I'm kind of interested about that. So, here we go. We found one out there last year. It's actually kind of an interesting dive. We found an octopus that we don't know what species it is. We found a Merdian that apparently no one's seen since 1912. And then we found a Tritonia. So it's kind of a strange dive. If anybody wants to find me, I'll be in the last place you would look. In a place where people used to be. A land that's called Won't be catching up on Reddit. I won't be watching any news. I let the planet spin without me, cause everything has been without me sometimes. And that is how you launch a boat. And everyone will be alright if I'm not fly by satellite. It's a beautiful day, I'm running away. Message or call me Cause I'm living life in airplane mode And everything is okay I just wanna play Unplug for the day And live in the moment Cause I'm living life in airplane mode Yeah I'm always drowning in the static I'd rather swim in crystal seas My battery's been running low Take it nice and slow for just a while You won't be hearing about my weather And you won't see my breakfast pics the Videos of kitty cats all gussied up in pretty hats You'll have to Tragedy. I hope you don't get mad at me It's a beautiful day, I'm running away Don't bother to Facebook message or call me Cause I'm living life in airplane mode And everything is okay I just wanna play, unplug for the day And live in the moment Cause I'm living life in airplane mode, yeah Hey, look. Did you find a year for you? Okay, so tonight we dive again for the mystery octopuses. And we're going back up to Burroughs Bay. It's another night dive. And we're getting in now because tomorrow the boat ramp gets ripped up. So this is our last opportunity to do this somewhat easily. We could do it after this, but it gets a little bit more annoying. And we are going to, 
I'm actually going to release the one mystery octopus we have. Luna is going back. My plan was because the only female of this species I've ever caught, I was going to keep her until her natural death and then preserve her and do DNA analysis, but nope. My mom saw octopus at the store and sent me a picture that I was like, oh no, poor Mike. <laughs> oh, really? I was like, mom, then Caitlin showed it to me. I was like, Now, if I point it up at my face. Oh yeah, that angle, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. She need to get below. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of lame, actually, but that's okay. That's it's kind of awkward. Just thumbs up Good. if you think this is awkward. We'll get all kinds of thumbs up. <laughs> Am I clear? Yes, you are. Yep, you're good to go. Bye, Claire. Clear. Hey, this is Kurt, and I'm going to go ahead and narrate this dive because this is just awesome. Just to catch you up very briefly, we know of two species of shallow water octopuses at diveable depths all the way from Northern California into Southern Alaska. Starting last year, we began finding an octopus that is neither one of those two species. Earlier this summer, we caught a small female of that species and brought her back into the lab for observation and named her Luna, and here we're releasing Luna back into the wild. As soon as she gets out, she comes straight for the camera. In particular, I want to release her so that I could get some good video of this octopus species in their native natural habitat. These may be smooth-skinned octopuses, which do occur in this area, but generally below diveable depths, below 300 feet. However, some of their characteristics don't quite match. We are doing some DNA sequencing now to see if we can match it to that species. Now this is what I really wanted to capture on film. Luna has found a hole here and she is going to take refuge down inside there. This is one really interesting thing about this population of octopuses that we have found. They burrow down into the mud. I'm not exactly sure if this hole was made by an octopus or if these are just holes that they are borrowing that are being made by other species. Literally within seconds of Luna burrowing down into that hole, we found another octopus of that species within feet of that, that burrow. And this kind of highlights something. These are relatively common in this area. We found between the two buddy teams six octopuses on this particular night and 14 over the last two years. Now this octopus is going to illustrate another facet of that burrowing behavior. They do not only burrow into pre-made holes, occasionally we also see them burrowing directly into the mud where there was no hole before. This octopus found a small divot, but there was no hole there before it started burrowing in, and here we see it disappear into no hole but just into the sand. After about 10 minutes, we found another one who also burrowed directly into the sand, not into a hole. Which raises so many interesting questions, like how in the world are they breathing down there? Maybe they can't, maybe they just hold their breath, which might be why we saw after just a few minutes, this octopus coming back out of its hole, apparently didn't like the hole, couldn't stay down there long, I'm not exactly sure. I'm really hoping to take on a couple graduate students that are really interested in tackling some of these questions in the upcoming years. After following this octopus for a few minutes, it did find a pre-made hole that seemed to like better than the first burrow it made. Now this illustrates something that I want to point out about their burrowing behavior. From as far as we can tell, every time that they burrow in, either into a pre-made hole or when they make their own, it's a significant distance, like a body length or more, down into the mud. Go. Another mystery octopus, quite a bit bigger than Luna, but we got one that was kind of Luna size as well. That's in here.
Thanks for watching this video and sharing this awesome adventure that is scientific research with us. And if you enjoyed this video, please go down below, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with this research and the other research in the lab, please consider subscribing to Octopodium.